kind of watch from the sidelines and, and see the defense and stuff. And um, Coach Pep and Coach Harbaugh talked to me at halftime and said, you know, this is your next move is crucial and, and um, it can go two ways. And I, I made sure that it went in a positive direction. And we'll let Simon in front. With all the talk about the roster turnover for you guys, how does, what's the biggest difference you see in this team versus uh, the team that you were on last year? Uh, really, the biggest difference is probably just straight up age. Uh, not that it, it matters one way or another. Uh, we had a bunch of 22 and 23 year olds last year. Uh, we've got a, a lot of 18 and 19 year olds playing this year. So, um, but one thing we saw today is that that didn't really matter. There's there's young guys that the stage was not too bright. Where, where do you think that showed up today? Uh, I mean, all across the board on defense. Um, you see guys like Tariq making big time catches. He was playing in Connecticut in front of 50 people last year. Um, DPJ was the big time recruit and, and he had some unbelievable punt returns that really uh, changed the swing of things and, and getting us into a good field position. Um, and then, you know, other guys stepped up too. Okay, we'll move on the right in the middle. Hey, Will. Uh, when, you, when you say uh, Harbaugh, said your next move is crucial. What, what, is that? I mean, what, what was that conversation like? What did he tell you? That Basically, he was just telling me that the, the vibe of the team, um, you know, everyone's following me and, and um, you know, I can't go out there and, and you know, hang my head or uh, have a, a bad attitude because people feed off of this position and, uh, you know, how you how your shoulders are and, and, you know, where your eyes are, that it's it's a minor detail, but, but guys across the board are, are feeding off that. So. Uh, I knew I'd, I had to come out ready to go like the first half of the, those last two passes didn't even happen and uh, make some throws, and that's what I did. Second row middle, Chris. Wilton, you've talked about uh, this defense and facing them, and then you go out and see them. Is this possible that the defense is faster than last year's? I don't know, man. It's, I, I don't like to compare years, um, but I know going against Don Brown and his schemes and, and his assistants and, and the players that – uh, he puts out on the field for 30 straight days. Uh, that, that's no fun. And it, it wasn't fun last year, and, and it wasn't fun this August. But um, thankfully, it's over, and, and um, other offenses have to face them now. Second row, middle left, Kevin. You talked about the adjustments there at, at halftime and coming out. How important was he, uh, the, the throw you made down to, uh, to Grant right over the middle? It was in tight coverage, but that, that has to show an awful lot of confidence in yourself to do that. Yeah, you know, uh, I think certain people might have thought that I, I might have just gone in a shell. Uh, you know, the, the first pick, uh, it just we couldn't connect with Keiko and I. I wasn't, I wasn't going to get down about that. Um, you know, I kind of kicked myself for the second one because it, it was completely my fault. Just sailed it over Grant's head. Um, but, you know, going into halftime and then being able to come back out, I, I really completely blocked it out. Did, did not remember it whatsoever. And, um, that was a bread and butter type play um, by the two outside receivers. And when I was on the sideline, when coach pulled me out, um, I saw that play run when O'Corn was in. And I was like, wow, I, I can capitalize on that uh, next time. That's called. And, and that's what I did. Front row right, Steve. Hey, well, talk about your running game, what you saw from your line and what you saw from your backs. Yeah, the Drevno and, and Coach Fry got those guys ready. Um, just aggressive play from those guys. Just true Michigan style offense, and, and uh, it almost felt like every time I would hand the ball off, I turned to watch the play, and it was the field was almost tilted because the receivers were running downhill, uh, the fullbacks were, were filling the gaps and doing what they needed to do, and, and then the offensive line just played incredibly tonight. One last question to your back right, and then we'll get to Coach Harbaugh. Yeah, Will, did you? said that the only difference is straight up age. Usually in college football, 22 year olds are much better than 19 year olds. What is it about these guys, these young guys that they're able to bridge that gap? Well, um, I, I just think that that's, that's uh, like an outside thought and maybe conception that, that uh, because you're 18 years old or 19 years old, uh, you're, you're not capable of doing what uh, a 22 or 23 year old, I mean, maybe maturity wise or, or strength wise, but uh, Coach read us a really cool letter last night uh, to the team that he received from somebody um, that was in the Marines. And, and he talked about in the letter about how 
you know, he was 18 years old and, and was over fighting and overseas and, and just to, to hear that letter and, and say, okay, there's 17 or 18, 19 year old guys going over there defending our freedom. Why can't we step out onto the field in Cowboy Stadium and, and um, play a simple game of football? Thank you for your time. Uh, we're going to get Wilton back.